Hi, my name is Melissa Forges. I'm the Assistant Director of Engineering, Employer Relations and Recruitment Services in the FSU Career Center. In this 10-minute presentation, I'm going to walk you through the basics of interviewing strategies and the information needed to get you started. Take some notes as you follow along. In order for the interviewer to make a fair evaluation, you will need to know and communicate what you have to offer the potential employer and organization in terms of your experience, skills, and other areas. Think about how your interests, skills, and values fit with the type of organization and position for which you are being interviewed. Remember, when preparing for an interview, the prospective employer is primarily concerned with hiring someone who will make a valuable contribution to the organization. Be prepared to tell an employer why you would be a valuable asset to them and why they would benefit from hiring you. With many applicants for the same job, it will be up to you to convince the interviewer that of all those interviewed, you are the best choice. In addition to knowing yourself, it is vital to know the employer. Your research prepares you with information that can increase your self-confidence as you are able to ask informed questions that help you make a positive impression in an interview. The interviewer will regard you as a person who has sincere interest in the organization because you took time to find out something about it. Additionally, the employer expects you to research their company. There are various items you can research, such as the organization's products or services, the size of the organization, and even who their competition is. For additional information on researching employers, check out the Researching Potential Employers Guide at www.career.fsu.edu. Dress for success. First impressions count. Employers are evaluating you as soon as you walk in the door, and clothes make a critical first impression. You'll want to make sure it's a positive, lasting impression by taking the time to dress appropriately for the interview. Remember to err on the conservative side. Wear no more than five accessories, including earrings, rings, and watches. Also, some things to avoid are loud colors, strong perfume, or aftershave, wild hairstyles and sandals, open-toed shoes. Check out the Dressing to Impress guide at career.fsu.edu for additional information. Interview behavior. You may be nervous when it comes to your interview, but knowing about yourself, preparing yourself with the employer research, and dressing the part will help you to have confidence. In addition, follow these interview behavior do's to continue making a positive first impression. Do arrive a few minutes early for your interview. It's better to be a few minutes early than even one minute late for your interview. Pay attention to your posture by sitting up straight and being attentive with your direct eye contact while carefully listening to the interviewer. Do know that it is okay to smile and show your genuine enthusiasm. Eye contact is important. However, you do not want to stare down the interviewer and make them feel uncomfortable. Be cognizant of your eye contact and keep it natural. In order to speak clearly, do not chew gum or candy. Also, do not make the mistake of badmouthing your previous employers. You do not want the interviewer to think that you might speak that way about their organization if you leave on terms that aren't the best. Plus, you never know who knows who. That interviewer just may know that previous employer. Structure of a typical interview. The interview situation can vary from a one-to-one -one contact between you and an employee of the organization to a panel composed of several different employees or department heads representing various levels or functions. It is also possible to have a sequence of several interviews on a given day. However, interviews typically are structured with having a handshake greeting whereupon you will engage in small talk to general opening questions that lead into specific and or behavioral questions. The interview comes in for a close after you ask your questions and if the interviewer has any final remarks. Types of questions. The types of questions interviewers ask are grouped into certain categories. For educational background and experience questions, make sure you can communicate how your education and experience have prepared you and gained you the necessary skills to perform excellently in the position you are interviewing for. 
With questions that are geared toward your career goals, you will want to demonstrate how you are goal-oriented and how they tie into the organization and the position. In addition, you will want to show how your personal attributes are a perfect fit with the organizational culture and structure. Behavioral-based questions tend to focus on success experiences in your past and specific behaviors you engaged in to achieve that success. It's a means of predicting future behavior by examining past behavior. STAR technique. To prepare for behavioral-based questions, utilize the STAR technique, situation, task, action, result. The technique simply guides you to provide examples by describing the situation you were in or the task you needed to accomplish, describe the action you took, and the results. Identify concrete examples that specifically illustrate what you can do to solve a job problem and draw attention to specific job skills. Sensitive questions. Some questions are sensitive and that they are a discriminatory question that differentiates people on the basis other than merit, such as age and marital status. Questions vary among cities, counties, and states. The U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission provides more detailed information about prohibited employment policies and practices. There is no right answer in how to deal with these sensitive questions. However, there are some approaches to take. Dealing with inappropriate or illegal questions. You can answer the question, but remember, it's not related to the job, and if you do not answer it satisfactorily, it could hurt your chances of getting an offer. You can refuse to answer the question, and depending on how you frame the answer, you might be perceived as challenging or abrupt. You can also examine the intent of the questions and answer accordingly. In a positive, non-defensive manner, reassure the interviewer about your interest in the job and why you believe the position is a good fit with your skills and qualifications. It's important to be aware of these sensitive questions and know how you would respond if put into the situation. Tough interview questions. Tell me about yourself. This question gives you the chance to communicate to the interviewer how you became interested in the field, your key strengths, and relevant personal characteristics, experiences, accomplishments, and goals. You can't control the questions, but you can control the answers. Direct the interviewer to the areas you want them to know about you. Tell me about a weakness. Think about your weaknesses as areas in which you want to improve. Talk about a weakness which you have overcome or made progress in changing. In discussing weaknesses, indicate to the interviewer what has been done to improve in that area. This gives you the chance to turn something negative into something positive. Questions you ask. Come prepared with questions to convey your interest in the position and the organization. You may want to address the organization's hiring criteria, training program, and the job duties. In the initial interview, questions you'll want to avoid asking are questions related to salary, benefits, vacation or leave time, and perks. You should always have a minimum of five questions prepared for the employer. After the interview. Following up after an interview is a critical part of the whole interviewing process. Sending the thank you letter helps you to continue to stand out from other candidates. In addition, Take time to write down what you've learned. Ask yourself questions to review your performance to continue improving your interviewing skills. Interviewing is a skill that can be learned and mastered with practice. For additional interviewing information, check out Preparing for the First Interview Guide at www.career.fsu.edu. We also have guides for the second interview and telephone interview on our website. Career Center Resources to Practice Interviewing The Career Center's Mock Interview Program is an ideal way to practice your interview skills. Trained mock interview mentors create interview questions based on your resume, cover letter, and provide immediate feedback on your performance. Additionally, you are provided with a DVD of your mock interview so you can learn from watching yourself. Remember, if you are a distance learning student, you can still take advantage of this resource by participating in a telephone or Skype mock interview from any location. 
visit career.fsu.edu slash mock interview to learn more about mock interviews. Keep up with the Career Center. We've covered the basics of interview preparation and some of the resources available to you through the Career Center. You can find more resources and upcoming events on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Also, visit our website at www.career.fsu.edu.